Hello everyone, welcome to Space Design Group. I'm Nishi Malde and today I'm going to explain the lighting aspects of interior design. So starting with what is lighting? Lighting is a deliberate use of light for practical and aesthetic purpose. Lighting includes the use of both artificial light sources like lamps and light fixtures as well as natural illumination by capturing daylight. As you can see in the picture, there is a perfect balance of natural and artificial light. But what is the purpose of lighting? The purpose of lighting is to provide illumination to perform any task, to enhance the aesthetic appeal and creating the mood and ambience of a living space. Besides playing a functional role, it creates a visually dynamic space. Now we understood the purpose of lighting, but what is the impact of lighting in a space? Lighting influences the appearance, tone and impression of every single object or space in an interior through how it is lighted. It can make or break the overall ambience of the interior space. Lighting levels and color affect our mood and unavoidably mood affects behavior. Now let's get to the types of lighting. The first is ambient lighting. Ambient lighting is a soft glow that blankets your space just enough for you to function without causing any hard glare. While ambient lighting is meant to get you safely from point A to B that is from the entrance to the end of the room. It is not ideal for working closely with things or to highlight things around your space. Here are some examples. As you can see in these pictures, how our overall space has been lighted up and it is also making the use of daylight. Ambient lighting is also called as general lighting. The second type of lighting is task lighting. Task lighting helps you perform specific tasks such as reading, sewing, cooking, doing your homework, playing games or balancing your checkbook. Task lighting helps naturally stimulate your brain. The contrasting light allows you to be more alert and concentrated. This will help you see more details as you work creating higher quality results. Let's look at some examples. As you can see in the first picture how light is strategically used in the wardrobes to see things perfectly in order to perform the task without making any mess. And likewise in the second picture the kitchen counter is perfectly lighted in order to perform tasks like cooking, chopping, washing and so on. The third type of lighting is accent lighting. This is a very concentrated light with the intention of drawing the eye to its focal point. Accent lighting is a way of adding style and drama to any space. This will help you illuminate the pieces you want on display while shadowing dull areas. Let me explain more by showing you some examples. As you can see in the first picture how a decorative element is highlighted using a concentrated light above it creating focus and gaining the viewer's attention. Likewise in the second picture the wall with some write up with a focused light on it is creating drama in the living room. The next is aesthetic lighting. Decorative lighting is the fourth layer of interior illumination and simply put it is like a jewelry for the home. It helps your space sparkle and shine. There is such a thing where lighting is used as an art. Such lighting adds interest in that particular space. Here are some examples. As you can see in the first picture how a seating arrangement is made luxurious by adding a decorative lighting. Likewise in the second picture a simple spa room is made interesting by adding aesthetic lighting. So here is my question to you all. Do you think that lighting aspect is the same for every interior space? The answer is no. 
lighting aspect depends on multiple reasons such as the purpose of the space, the requirement, the activity and what you want to display and what not and so on. So we will now have a look on how does lighting aspect change from interior to interior. The first is residential interiors. In homes, all types of lightings are used keeping in mind the function of each and every space. Right from the entrance lobby till the bedroom, lighting plays an important role. Different tasks are performed at home throughout the day and each of it requires a different type of lighting and ambience created by that lighting to acquire adequate comfort. While in offices, more of ambient lighting and task lighting is done and very less of accent lighting. It requires adequate light because it is totally a functional place and the employees should be at comfort while working and should not experience eye strain. Also in places where there is a complete glass facade, indoor lighting should be in balance with the daylight coming in. Here are some examples. As you can see in the picture of a bedroom, different types of lighting is used such as indirect lighting is used to highlight the back wall, task lighting is provided as reading light, ambient lighting for overall glow, also a decorative pendant light to make the space interesting. While in the second picture of an office, you can see how requirements of lighting and aesthetics are mixed and each table is provided with task light in the form of pendant light. And also there is ambient lighting for overall glow. The next is restaurant interiors. In restaurants, lighting is done keeping in mind the theme of the restaurant. The lighting also depends on the mood the restaurant offers. The lighting also differs in a day and at night. In a day, the balance of daylight and indoor lights has to be maintained. All types of lighting is used in a restaurant. Ambient lighting to create the mood, task lighting to read the menu, to focus on the table and accent lighting to create some visual interest in the space. While in cafe interiors, bright ambient lighting produces a more brisk and a lively mood. It is well suited for such casual establishments. Again, the lighting is done keeping in mind the theme of the cafe. It also depends on the food the cafe is offering. All types of lighting can be used in a cafe. These places have a lot of scope where we can experiment with lighting. Let's look at some examples. In the first picture of a restaurant, as you can see how pendant lights are placed right above the table to have focus on the food and also read the menu. Also, accent lighting is used to highlight the tree creating a visual interest. The walls of the restaurant are also highlighted by using indirect lighting. Whereas in the second picture, an experiment is done by using a number of hanging bulbs functioning as ambient lighting. Also, the back wall is highlighted by indirect lighting. The next is clubs and pubs interiors. The lighting of a restaurant and clubs is totally different because the purpose is different. In clubs, the idea is to enjoy with loud music with dim and changing light in terms of colors as well as intensities. There is lot of accent lighting highlighting specific areas and creating mystery with the lights and ambient lighting with low intensities. Task lighting is only used where staff needs to focus at hand. This is important for the entrance, behind the bar and for a DJ booth. Next is the retail store's interiors. The purpose of a retail store is to welcome customers and influence them to buy their products. So the lighting of a retail store should be welcoming and also focusing on the products the store is selling to draw the attention of a passerby. There is ambient lighting to blanket the space and then 
There are task lights to perform tasks on cash counter and service counters and accent lights to give some additional focus on the products. Here are some examples. As you can see in the first picture how the color of the light creates the mood of the pub and also playing the role of ambient lighting. The bar has task lighting for the staff also highlighting the wards. While in the picture of a retail store, you can see how the pathway is highlighted using indirect footlights and most of the focus is on the products while shadowing the dull areas. The next is movie theater interiors. Ambient lighting is crucial to this setting. When eyes are adjusting to the lower light levels when first entering the theater, Ambient light is the easiest for eyes to adjust to without issues. It also helps with after the movie when eyes need to adjust from staring at a brightly lit screen. Lights guiding with the pathway is a must that can be done using footlights or wall scones. Since movie theater lighting should be gentle on the eyes, you want to avoid fixtures that provide too much direct light for the most part. Next is multiplex lobby interiors. Multiplex lobby lighting should be welcoming and must cater to moods of all genres of people. Here is a place where you can experiment with decorative lighting and also designing with light. Ambient lighting is commonly used in overall lighting. Task lights are used at snack bar counters and more of accent lights for highlighting the posters and decorative lights to add a luxury element. Here are some examples. As you can see in the first picture how indirect lighting is used highlighting the pathway also acting as a design element giving a soft glow to blanket the space. In addition, small spotlights are used as ambient lighting. While in the second picture, you can see how cove lighting is used as a major design element highlighting the ceiling. In addition to that, how movie poster displaying screens are highlighted using indirect lighting. With this, we are done with how lighting aspect change from interior to interior. Now, we will see how does lighting aspect change from indoor to outdoor spaces. Indoor spaces includes houses, offices, restaurants, cafes and so on. Lighting in indoor spaces is all about the function. All the types of lighting are used in an indoor space, but the proportion of each depends on what kind of interior. While the outdoor spaces include garden, lawns, swimming pools, private ponds, water cascades, balconies, terraces and so on. Uplighting and downlighting the walls, path lighting, moon lighting are the types of lighting which can be done to get the required results. Accent lights are generally used. Let's look at some examples. First picture is a picture of an indoor space where all types of lightings are used, performing different functions. While the second picture is of an outdoor garden area where you can see how the footlights are used to highlight the pathway, also creating a design element using the flow of light. In addition to that, how uplighting is used to highlight the trees to create a visual interest. So with this, we come to an end of today's topic. You can write to us any design related queries in the comment section below or mail us now on the below given email addresses. Thank you.